What's up guys? It's Cadence. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, my name is Cadence. I am 15 years old and yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video and that's a... 7th grade makeup tutorial. Woo! Okay, so you might be like, Cadence, why the heck are you doing a 7th grade makeup tutorial? I thought you were in high school. Yeah, I am. And by the way, yes, I am in high school. I know it looks like I'm in like 5th grade. That's not true. I'm a sophomore in high school and I thought it would be helpful to do a 7th grade makeup tutorial because I feel like 7th grade is the grade and people start getting interested in makeup. Now, a little disclaimer before you get into the video. If you are in 7th grade and you like to wear more makeup than this or less makeup than this or you're not allowed to wear makeup or you're in my grade and you don't even wear this much makeup, that's perfectly fine. Like usually to school I don't wear makeup honestly because I don't have time for that. Sorry about it. You might want to just try out some makeup or maybe you just want to do makeup for fun. You don't need makeup. I'm not saying you need to wear makeup. Everybody is beautiful without makeup. But I like, I personally think makeup's just a fun little hobby to do. And if you think my makeup is bad, then sorry, I'm not a beauty guru, I'm just a uh, cadence. Yeah, I just thought this would be really helpful for any people who are in 7th grade because I know when I was in 7th grade, <laughs> here, I wore this concealer that didn't match me. <laughs> and somebody's like, oh, cadence, are you wearing makeup? And I go, no. Sam, stop screaming. Sam, stop screaming. I'm actually gonna set a timer on my phone and I'm gonna see how long this takes. It's obviously gonna take quite a bit longer, like maybe triple, double or triple the time because I am gonna be talking and like explaining this along the way. Before I begin any makeup look, I always like to start with some hand sanitizer. I just have this little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Wow! Because I don't wanna get any dirt or germs that are in my skin. <laughs> that are on my hands and my skin because I am going to be handling my skin a lot so like we really just don't want that um, I'm going to start the timer right now I always like to start off with a primer or like a lotion I feel like a lotion's a little easier and you can use it for more than just makeup so I just have this weird thing la 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 rush to that uh, I got it from Walgreens. It was like $20, I think. It's some weird French brand, but like, I like it. It's good. I just apply that all over my face. And by the way, throughout this video, I might be using high-end-ish products. I'm going to try and give options if I used a more expensive product. I'm going to give, I'm going to try to give an option that's not as expensive because not everybody wants to spend their money on makeup because honestly there are much better things to spend your money on. So once I've moisturized, I kind of like to let that dry for a minute. It's not really wet, but like, so I'm going to use this little Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I don't like using like a full foundation or anything. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes on my little forehead, on my nose, and then on my chin. So I just have this little Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I think it was like $3. I'm just kind of blending it out. Two things I recommend instead if you don't want to use this concealer. This right here, this Adrian concealer. I love this concealer so much. It's so good and it's like really easy to apply. The reason why I'm not using it is because like there's some left but it won't come out of the top anymore because it kind of dried out because I stopped using it. And then this is not drugstore, but I highly, highly recommend it. I really want to buy another one. This one's a little too orange for me, but it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Gel Hydrating Cream. So it's basically a tinted moisturizer. And I love tinted moisturizers because you can apply it with your fingers. So you don't need to like get out a beauty blender and all that random stuff in the morning before school. Rub it in with your hands. So I really want to get another one of those. I also recommend this for summer because that has sunscreen in it. So next, I like to do a powder of some sort. So I prefer loose powder. Other people prefer pressed powder. So I just have this little Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I like this because it's kind of like translucent. It makes you look less shiny and it helps your makeup stay on a little longer. And so fun fact about me, I like to use like a foundation brush kind of like this with like a flat top. 
for my powder because I don't like powder brushes. I feel like they're weird shaped. I don't know. But I'm just gonna put this in here and then go under my eyes. And basically, everywhere where I put my concealer. Something that I recommend if you don't wanna spend your money on this is the Fit Me powders. I love these. This one is way too dark. I don't know why I got light medium. I am definitely not light medium. I am ghost. Fit Me powders are really nice and they have them in pressed powders and loose powders. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing probably my favorite part and that's blush and highlighter. For blush, I'm just using this little tart blush. I like to apply it on my cheeks and then I kind of like to apply it on my nose just to kind of look a little cute. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> you can't even really tell a difference on camera, but like I like blush. Some people really hate blush, but I think it's nice. For a highlighter, a highlighter I will be using because this highlighter is not messed up. It's this e.l.f. highlighter. I bet you've heard about it before. So on the top layer, it's kind of bad. And then you just scrape off the layer with something like... For example the back of your makeup brush just like scrape it just take any brush or use your fingers and then apply it okay so moving on you can't see it in the sliding I'm gonna go to better lighting at the end so you can kind of see it so next I'm moving on to mascara it is drugstore so it's lash paradise mascara and so I like to have the the pink primer with the basic black mascara and I love this. I feel like it makes my eyelashes look so long. Uh, my friend, Lauren, if you're watching this, she texted me and she's like, what mascara did you wear in your last video? Because it looks really good. <laughs> and I told her. But I just take the pink primer and then I apply it on my eyelashes. Once I apply it on my eyelashes, I like to kind of let it dry just for a minute. Next, I am just adding the normal mascara on, on top of it. I like to go over it again with just a little spoolie. And then kind of com comb out any little clumps. I love lip gloss. Lipstick, I feel like it's so easy to mess up and it's kind of too much for school. I love this Revlon lip gloss. And so now that it's all glossed, I'm basically done with the look. So you might be like, really, this looks crazy. You look like a pale ghost. And that's because the camera is weird. So I'm going to go out into better lighting and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot to show you that this took 14 minutes with the talking in between and that other stuff. So if you're doing this by yourself, it should only take around seven, five to seven minutes. So I think that's pretty good for a school morning, so yeah. By the way, I'm literally about to go stand out my front yard with my camera and like make weird faces. So I hope none of my neighbors that I don't really know very well look at, don't look at me because that'd be really awkward. And I also hope that killer dog doesn't come chasing at me because that would also be awkward. That would not be awkward. That would be scary. Okay, so here I am outside. Sorry about the annoying bugs. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you made it to the end, good job. <laughs> I hope you like it. If you don't, I'm sorry. If you want to comment something or ask me a question, you're going to have to follow me on Instagram because YouTube disabled my comments because I'm a minor. So my Instagram will be on the screen. It's cadence.grace with two E's. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. <laughs>